What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fobs Up Dolls, baby. Hashtag Fobs Up Dolls. Today, we've got 16 PC mods in testing. We've got 21 console mods in testing. With all those 18 mods were released today. North Modding Company have a new tractor customization mod. A2 Square Studios teases the update for the TLX 2020 series. FDR logging are back. 40 Modding tease some of their new mods. A Dub Modding's adding auto load to the Massey Pack trailer. Black Eyes Modding tease a rice crop. CNH posted some more pics of their International 86. JAHG Modding are getting closer to the release of their John Deere planters. Missy B needs your help on our next map. And in Modding's West Newton Farm update, it's almost here. Steve's Mods is making great progress on Glazebrook. White Bull Mining, I have a very unique tractor coming up. Oxygen David teases his next map. Plus, Sid Monig's got some side-by-side -side comparisons of his new 2020 John Deere pack. Let's check it out. First up, let's start with the PC mods and testing. This is the first stage of testing that we get to see as players. All mods have to pass PC testing first, and then around 70 to 80% of these mods will move on to console testing once they pass. In testing for a PC, we have additional field info. Agronic WR500. British cow, sheep, and pigs placeables. Closs cutter trailer. Corteva gallon fertilizer and herbicide. Deco pack. Fences. Fent weight, 1250 kilogram. FLC. CMT, JSA Swath Roller, Major Antenna 2722, MAN TGS 18 Pack, New Holland USA Baylor, POM Brodnica ALFA3, the Millennial Farmer Map, and Water Tower. The second testing phase that we get to see is the console testing stage. This is the final stage, and once a mod passes console testing, it is then released, and if the mod fails, this is generally where it's gonna happen. In testing for consoles, today we have the Brick Shed Pack Italian Style, Case IH AFS Connect Magnum, Field Barn, Flatbed Trailer, IBM JMT-19, Forage Mixer, John Deere 520 Flow Mower, John Deere 8R USA Series, John Deere 9600-9610, Key Awake, La Cornella 2.0, Lizard 1200-gallon Side Quest Tanks, Lizard E6, Lizard Uniport 2000 Plus, Modern Pigs Barn, Residence Pack, RDC FS19, Roland Turbo Vrack Trailer, Root Crop Storage, Tension Belt Pack, Versatile Transport Trailer, and waste cart. With all that being said, we still have 111 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is five work days, meaning if a mod is submitted today for testing, it likely will not be until next Monday before we see it on the list. In addition to the mods in testing, 18 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub. New for all platforms, we have the SX210 ITR, Case H Axle Flow 2188, Neo Lab Eco 350, Lizard Tank 40, Lizard Granos, Field Silo. Concrete and Brick Fences, American Mailbox, and New Park Farm. Updates for all platforms include the Fen 800 S4, Manor House, and Lizard Container. New for PC and Mac players today, we have the Kamaz 65117 for Milk, Horse Breeding, and Bunker Silo Displays. And lastly, updates for PC and Mac include the Kamaz 65117, Lumberjack, and No Field Flipping. I have already made a video showing these off in detail, and you can find that video linked in the description below. Making our way into today's top stories, first Top Giants have posted a hype video for the Farming Simulator League Season 2 Finals, which are going to be held on September 19th and 20th. These are going to be on a Saturday and Sunday. The final teams are Grimmy, Trailerboard, Burning Gamers by Stark, John Deere, Krohn, Horsch, VK, and Lindner. These are the top eight teams out of a pool of 92 that have been competing, and soon we will know who is the best team in the world. Players are competing for a 100,000 euro cash prize, and the anticipation is quickly building. If you wanna watch, I will be posting more information on the final soon once Giants release the final information, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Next up today, North Monty Company has something big for us. This will be a new weight pack that has an adjustable spotlight and strobe bar setup, with one or the other being available as well. These remind me a lot of the lights available on the top of the Hudig 1260E that was recently released, and this is going to be available for all platforms. It does like you're going to be able to place these however you wish. Full customization on this. This would definitely be the first mod of its kind in Farming Simulator. If you have been watching David's live streams the past week or so, you're going to know that a big update is coming for the TLX 2020 series. He's been extremely gracious and allowed me early access to the mod, and I'll be showing off any video in the next few days, likely on Wednesday, as there's no public live streams this week as we prepare for the 12-hour live stream Saturday. 
David has worked really hard to bring you everything that you wanted to see in the TLX update, and I can't wait to show you. Next up is something very special, and it's going to get a lot of you guys excited. We've got some information from FDR Logging. We haven't talked about them in a long time in regards to making their mods more compatible to other mods out there. They say that they will be working on bringing everything back to giant stock weights on the machines. It says it's not going to be easy, it will take hundreds of hours to do, but they believe that it will be possible. Going forward, this is the most logical step as the logging community is a very niche part of the overall farming simulator player base, and this will enable other modders' equipment to be more compatible with the FDR machines. I will keep you guys updated as this is a big, big story. 40 Modding dropped an update on the mods that they're currently working on. First up, we get to see the Heston 4900 stuffer forks and dry models that are completely finished on this mod. They're making steady progress on this, and as of right now, there's no platform information available as it is just too early in the modding process. And secondly, they mentioned that their Bruffin Triaxle Grain and Silage trailer will be going into testing with Giants this week and will be releasing as a Lizard brand for console players to enjoy as well. Thank you for working hard to get your mods out to all platforms, even if it is a Lizard brand. Thanks, 40. A-Dub Modding has heard you and is adding something that was highly requested for the old Gen Massey pack. He's adding an auto-load bell version of the Massey Ferguson 114 bell trailer. This will be released as a separate mod from the Massey pack and will likely be sent in alongside the pack for testing once it is finished. As was mentioned over the weekend, the Tree Amigos of Farm Sim are working hard to get this pack finished as soon as possible. What story that I don't have a lot of information on but still needs to be mentioned is a recent post from Black Eyes Official, the creators of Ishia Farm. They posted saying, going to work rice. They've got their Lamborghini Nitro tractor in the back, but I don't remember seeing those wheels on that mod before. We don't have any rice on any maps on the mod hub, at least for all platforms that I know of, and all Black Eyes mods are for all platforms. What do you guys think's going on here? Possibly an update for Ishia Farm, or maybe something new? Let me know. Looks like CNH Mining have been hard at work on their International 86 this weekend. Just from observation, the front grill looks to have had quite a bit of work done on it, as well as a more tire detail and a moving window in the back of the cab. This thing is looking better and better every single day. JAHG posted a little bit more information on their John Deere DB series of planters. Today we get to see the DB90 36 row, which will be only on PC due to polycount. Remember that the DB60 will be coming to consoles as well as all platforms. JAHG Mani continue their campaign for likes on Facebook saying that they will not release this until it hits 20,000 likes. Looks like they're about 75 likes away from that goal at the time of recording, which is Monday morning. Missy B is looking for help from you. She's working on what looks to be the cow barn on her new map with her farm. So far, it looks like the layout is a double bunker silo on the left, manure pit in the middle, with a slurry tank on the right. What do you guys think? Do you like this layout, or do you not? Go let her know on her Facebook page. In addition, she's got two mods that are pending testing with Giants. The Shed Pack looks to be a new mod, I believe. And the Grain Quit Storage is an update that's going to include a fix to the liquid extension and will also include a new silo. Very cool. Today we've got some news on West Newton Farm by NM Modding. He posted saying that the update is complete and is ready for internal testing before being sent off to Giants for testing. This update is for PC players and will bring with it the need for a new game save. But we've already talked about how easy it is to get your money, equipment, and animals back from an old game save. So that should be pretty simple. And Imani goes on to say that the console version is still in the works, but is almost complete. Steve's Mods is showing great progress on his next map, Glazebrook. Here we get to see the road layout layered on top of the map. He says that it's not long now, and he's feeling very excited. This will be for all platforms. Something I'm really excited about, White Bull Modding show off a new tractor mod that they're working on, the WBM Metric H6. This looks to be a proprietary brand name, so the release for all platforms should be easy to do, and most of their stuff is for all platforms anyway. We will be getting something similar to this in the upcoming Alpine Farming Expansion DLC, which is releasing on November 12th, but there's nothing like this in the game right now. I love the look of these, and I cannot wait to see it. Our next to last story today comes from Oxygen David in the form of a teaser for his next map. He says that he will be announcing it once his main Facebook page hits 25,000 likes, and it's almost to 21,000 now, so we could be waiting a while for this one. And lastly today, we get a look at the 2020 John Deere tractor pack by Sid Monning. Here we get to see the new EU version and US version beside each other. There are quite a few differences between the two versions, and thanks to the generosity of Sid, 
I will be bringing you a preview video later on today after Farm Some News is releasing to show you the detail and highlighting the customization and addressing the changes from the previous version. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there is no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes of Farm Sim News for the most current status of other projects that you're interested in, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! Ah uh, yeah, who's ready for a preview of the 2020 John Deere pack? Let's go!